Welcome back. I, I did it. Did it off screen and I got the... I got lucky, so... The first time I went back in to refight him, uh, I managed to smack his tail off, which gave me the orange, uh, charred orange ring. Which means... that... the lava... did... not a lot of damage to me, which was very much appreciated. And... you know what? Just to celebrate... we're finally gonna wear a helmet. Whoa, that's enough to put me to mid-rolls. Awesome. That's a heavy helmet. Oh, so is that one. Sack it is. So, now, we've got the orange charred ring on, so you can see my little red boot up next to my stamina bar. That means that I am good to go. So now, instead of it just, like, instantly destroying me, check this out. It's now as much damage as what poison does to you, pretty much. Maybe just a slight bit faster, but it's still as much damage as poison. Oh, and I also got this. So let's use this. Oh, that's enough for a level, I think. That should be enough for another level. Sweet. Oh, hey, it's Solaire. Hey, buddy. How are ya? I'll talk to you in a second. Let me just do this first. Let me just do this first. Let me just do that first. Hey man, how are you man? Well, how are ya? After all this searching. What's he searching for? Why? After all this searching. What can't you find? Why are you so depressed, Solar? I don't I don't like depressed Solar. He was so jovial when we started the game. Now he's like all sad. Um, I guess this way. This is the way we're going. <clears throat> so, I think I might just cheese the bed of chaos. I might just cheese the bed of chaos, I think. But we made it. This will be our second Lord Soul. Second Lord Soul. It's gonna happen. Soul of Brave Warrior, sweet. Uh, this is very confusing. Where do I go? Where do I actually go here? I've never fought one of those things, and I don't intend to. Um, I get the feeling we're gonna have to like. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, is that the tree stump like a mammal? It is. What is the aggro range on the decayed dragons? I wonder. They're just gonna like instantly start chasing me once I get too close, or what? I reckon they are. I reckon this. Yes, another soul. I'm pretty sure there's like a bonfire in here somewhere. Nope, not that side. Yeah, I do. Yep, so it's not that one. You're a statue. statue. Oh, this one's got a chest in it. I could have sworn one of these had a bonfire in them. Soul of a great hero. Ooh, I wonder what that's worth. Nope. I'm outie 5000. I'm outie 5000. I ain't dealing with that. I ain't dealing with that. I ain't dealing with it. I ain't dealing with it. I'm not. Nope. Nope. Oh my god. How high can you jump, though? Oop, we fell. Oh my lord. I can't even see you. You're... S Holy Jesus, man. Calm down. Oh, you can kill them, though. That's interesting to know. Oh, he's gone. Solaire, my boy. He's gone. Where'd my boy go? I get the feeling that's the one with the checkpoint in it, though. That, um, four door thing. I was just that. Uh, I get the feeling that's the one with the checkpoint. I'll just have to try. I'll 
just have to try. I should try to play this game with a randomizer mod. Like, change all the enemies, because, like... <laughs> this would just become a soul farming area. Like, unless you can do, like, specific parameters to tell, like, the mod not to, like, put things that can die in lava. I feel like the second you spawn in here, all these guys would just die. Like, this would just be, be like, the ultimate farming spot, because it would be passive farming. You wouldn't have to do anything. The game would just play itself. Because look at how many of these dudes there are. Like, that'd be so many souls. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's run. Let's just run. Let's run. Let's run. I don't think we aggroed any. I don't think we aggroed any. I think we're right. I don't think I aggroed them this time. You can go. You can still die though. But you can all the way die though. So can you. That's one of these. Oh no. Oh no. We aggroed one. We aggroed one. There it is. There it is. Yes, resetting. Get out of here. Get reset, boyo. Alright, now we need to go to that route. I wonder what the story is with, like, why all these, like, half-decayed dragons are down here, though. I think I have a look that up. Where are my souls? Down th What? How do I even get there? Oh my lord! How do I even jump down the road? How many did I have? I don't think it's enough to worth getting. Honestly. Somehow, I don't think it's enough worth getting. Because we just did a level up and spent them all. Might be like a thousand, maybe? But I've already got 720, which is enough for just equipment repair, which is all I'd use them for anyway at this point. What is down under there, I wonder? Okay. This area is, like, actually confusing. Because, like, as you can see, it's nothing the whole way around, pretty much. But just endless lava and big dragon boys. Okay, I think I need to go over there. That looks like a tree root that I need to climb up over there. So I can't even get to them. I can't even get to them. Why are they there? Yep, yeah, that's the way I've got to go. That's the way I'm gonna go. Over here. So, like, the game is good at just doing subtle things like that. Like, you know, there's a half-destroyed building over there. Maybe you should go over to it. Because you think, oh, maybe there's an item in there. And, uh, it's actually just the way to progress. It's actually just the way to progress. This is where it's going to get interesting. Because I remember this area being very hard when I first did it. That is why. I remember this area being a very hard when I first did it. So let's see how well we go. Nothing behind you, is there? No. Because these tree roots just get you stuck. Something horrible. God damn. God damn. Just get over the tree root. Oh, there's one behind me as well. I don't know where you came from, but I know where you can go. To hell. Oh, wait, we're already in hell. I've always thought of this area as kind of just being hell in this game, considering there's lava and monsters everywhere. 
It was not very descriptive considering most of the game is just monsters everywhere. This just has the benefit of lava being here as well. Lava adds seven something. You're real. I don't know that much is here. Different color! God, there's so many of you guys. So many. Kind of actually ridiculous how many of these dudes there are down here. Oh, two for one. See, like, where did he come from? How did he get behind me? Where did you come from and how did you get behind me, man? Like, seriously. This area. That's just nothing, so I don't know why they even bother, like, modeling that or setting that up. Am I just trapped? Come on! These tree roots... <coughs> ...are gonna end up being a cause of death in this fight, I reckon. I reckon I'm gonna die to the tree roots. It's trapping me, somehow. So I can't even remember where the bonfires are down here. Yep, there's another one up there. You're something. You're something. I remember you guys are pretty... See, look at that tree root. I remember these things are very scary. Oh, it doesn't work on stairs. I forgot that doesn't work on stairs. Get off the tree root! Seriously! Why is this game just riddled with, like, crappy geometry hitboxes? This area, I mean, is just riddled with crappy geometry hitboxes. Now, is one of these illusionary? No. I can't even remember if there is, like, any bonfires down in this area. This looks like a way to go, though. Oh yeah, definitely a way to go. Does that guy be there? And this guy be here? Is there any more of you so I don't get caught off guard? No, but there is an item. Soul of a hero. Oh, we might have enough souls just to get a level passively at this point. Go on, oh. Let's try that again. I think all the enemies are dead here now. I think I've killed everything on my way through here. I think I've just gone on a rampage and just murdered everything, hopefully. Right, let's... Oh my god, get off the tree root. So this is my biggest fear, is that one of these tree roots is going to be a cause of death. Not any of the monsters here, just these tree roots. This is definitely going to cause me a death. I can guarantee it. Like, I guarantee it, it's going to cause it. It's going to cause one. Oh, yes. Oh, another rare ring of sacrifice. That's two now. That's two rare rings of sacrifice. Alright. Alright. We got two Estus Flasks left, and how many humanity do I have? Four humanity. Okay, we can kindle a bonfire to get us at least ten. We'll kindle to a ten, Estus, because five is, I don't think, gonna be enough. Now, that there's a mage that is quite powerful for memory. Let's go give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Oh, yes! Oh, no. That's good, though. That's nice. Oh, yes! That was way better than I thought it was going to be. I expected to take a death there. I've never beaten that mage that easily. I'm proud of myself right now. There's gotta be a bonfire around here somewhere, because that's the better chaos. Oh, get out of the-
No, oh, you're trapped. So the tree roots will be the cause of not only one of my deaths, but these guys' deaths too. Got it. Get off. Oh, are you kidding me? Really? I... That, that felt like I was out of the way of that. Also, these guys are like tiny versions of, like, the stray demon and the asylum demon. This looks ominous. That is. Look at that up there. Look at that, what's waiting for us. Nah. Ain't, ain't even dealing with it. Never dealing with it. These, those Titanite demons, they, they can just live throughout this whole run for all I care. I ain't doing it. I ain't risking it. The only time I'm gonna kill one is if I actually need to get a weapon of plus 10, because I think they drop the item that does that. Which is why they're hard to kill, because they're expecting you to be only killing them if you're upgrading a level to, like, plus 10. Like a weapon. Oh no! Hey, where's, um... Where's Boy? There should be, there should be, uh... Onion Knight should be down here. On the bright side, I fell on the right side. As to not have to fight them, hopefully. Did I fall on the... Oh my god, I still have to fight you, though. Let's get my health back to full. Just get my health back to full. Yeah, as he comes down here. Are you gonna come down? Yeah, come down. Come down. No, 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 come down. got no idea how to get out of this area. I've got no idea how to get out of this area. Usually Onion Knight's with me. Oh god, I am actually lost right now. I legitimately have no idea how to get out of here. I've got a Homeward Bone, but that is going to take me so far back, and I... Really can't remember if Homeward Bones respawn all the enemies or not. Oh, is this it? Is this the way out? Oh, this is the way out, please. I don't want to- I don't want to do this. I don't want to be down here. I really don't want to do that. At all. I'm not dealing with it. That's just too- that's too much. That's too much to deal with. But now I'm really turned around and I cannot remember which way I've been and which way I came from. Okay, that's... Okay. So we go down here. That was where the floor collapsed. There's a Titanite demon up there. There's nothing over here. I feel like I'm missing a bonfire. I feel like there should be a bonfire here. I feel like there should be a bonfire. Ah, we didn't go on the other side of this bridge. That's right. Let's try on the other side. Because that's... The bed of chaos. Oh, that's... That's looking... That's an enemy. This looks like the right way. It seems a kind of cute, kind of scary, like, gross way. 
Now you're a mimic, you're not a mimic. Chaos Fire Whip. Ooh, that sounds a bit crazy. Okay, and you're not an invisible. I feel like there should be another bonfire around here, surely. Like, surely. Because if the only bonfire is past that Titanite Demon, then I guess we're just doing this. Let's use... What? I can't use it at all? Oh. What if I got that stupid? That'll do. Alright. Here we go. Bed of Chaos. Whee! Smash them branches. Alright. Now we just run. Now we just run. Why am I trapped? Why am I trapped? There we go. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure when I re-enter now, I should be back at the start. And then... I can run to the other side, I can smack that one out, and I do the same thing, I go back in, yep. Traverse the white light. I don't understand why that, like, roll cancel is doing that. Alright, now the floor's gonna start collapsing. Yep. This is where it gets scary. This is where this fight gets scary. Alrighty. One last time. Oh, this takes so much longer because of this stupid cannot find the game server because fucking from software hasn't brought them back online yet all right all right this is like the actual hardest part of this fight is now just getting to this sec middle branch to see how the floors no longer like collapsing there Seriously, how did that hit me? I'm like not even on it. I wasn't even on that. How did that hit me? Ah, oh, fucking hell. Bed of Chaos is not the worst fight in this game just because you can cheese it. If you couldn't cheese it, 100% worst fight in the whole game. Because you can cheese it, not as bad as people say it is. Oh god, I got the dragon's attention again though, didn't I? I'm bright side killed one of those things. Alright, I'm just gonna try and run straight there. I'm just gonna try and run straight there. Try and avoid all combat. I really could have sworn there was a way closer bonfire to her. Oh, I hope the mage doesn't respawn. Oh, I hope the mage doesn't respawn. She'll actually be a problem if she does. Okay, this is where these roots are going to become a death trap. Because I'm not doing combat, I'm just running. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you respawn too? 
I thought you guys stayed permanent dead. Huh. I actually thought they stayed permanently dead. That's it. That's actually, uh, new knowledge. Okay, she doesn't respawn. Good. The Witch of Izalith, your daughters do not respawn. Ha ha. Oh, yes! Recover lost power? I thought it was recover lost souls. Yes, it's bo That is so good that it actually, like, started up there. Oh, God! No! Oh, I was right there. Oh, I was right there. You know, it's like, th this is actually like a hilarious true story about this game, right? This is a hilarious true story about this game. The first time I ever, ever, ever fought the Bed of Chaos, like, everyone, like, all I heard from, like, all of my friends that were playing this game was, Oh man, the Bed of Chaos is gonna make you rip your hair out. It's like, the worst fight in the whole game, and, like, I legitimately had no idea about the cheese strat or anything that I was using before. I had no idea about any of that. I literally, on my first attempt ever at the Bed of Chaos, killed her in, like, my first try ever, and I was like, why did everyone say that was so hard? That was, like, the easiest fight in the whole game. But, I've never, ever, 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 ever been able to, like, recreate it. Like, I just got lucky because she didn't really use a lot of those, like, hand sweep attacks on me. Or maybe I was just, like, so heavily, like, armored and, like, vitality build that I just got lucky and she never smacked me into the abyss. Either way, first time I ever bet Beta Chaos, I beat her on my first attempt ever and I felt, like, so good about myself because I just heard all these stories about how legendarily bad and horrible and hard that fight was. And now, ye all these years later, playing Dark Souls Remastered, and I'm just getting shot and killed over and over and over again by her. Alright, let's get a flask in me, make sure we're on full health. The floor is collapsed on the bright side. The floor is already collapsed on the bright side. My souls didn't spawn at the top. Oh, my souls didn't spawn at the top. I don't know where they are. I might just have to leave them. Alright, we're just going for it. Just go 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 for it. Oh, what? I rolled! I rolled! No! Fuck! I'm so stupid. I've always- I've done a lap every time. I just ran straight this direction. It's so cheap though, having the lava be the bonfire before. Because it means you're guaranteed to lose health. Like, there are very few instances in this game of mandatory health loss. And this entire area of the game just feels like mandatory health loss. But, I don't care because I just dump points into stamina anyway. Or endurance as it's called in this game. It's just stamina though, let's be honest. It's the Skyrim stamina bar. You can give it all the fancy names you want, but at the end of the day, it's the Skyrim stamina bar. Alright, 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 we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. <coughs> Oof. Please, dear Jesus, just let me get lucky this time. Just give me a win for Christmas, that's all I want. I love that roll cancel, it's such a poor animation, it's so funny. It'd be so much funnier if you could just roll down here and just slide down on your back. Land. Run. I'm gonna go slightly this side. And roll! Yes, 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 yes. 
Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, six points of damage. Suck it. Suck it. Oh, got a bonfire up my ass. We did it. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Because now, now we're going to do this. Okay. Holy hell, 75,000. And, whoa, how many hu- So, I've got five, because I used four, so I already had a humanity. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Oh, I forgot I used one already. On the bright side, that'll deepen our allegiance to the Covenant. Hey, babe. I don't believe that I need to do anything else down in that area. I think it's only the better chaos down there. I think it's literally only the better chaos that's down there. So I think we're okay. So I need 24 dexterity and 50 strength to one hand the dragon sword. So let's just start working on that from now on. Ooh, but I do. I do, do, do. We'll repair the hilt just because it did win us the better chaos fight. It deserves it. It deserves it. It's the... It's, like, honestly, like, the MVP of this whole playthrough at this point. Oh, and we've got all these souls to use, too. I completely forgot. Let's see how much this all equates to. 10,000, man. 20,000? Whoa! That's a lot. Damn, 10,000? 10,000? 8,000. That's one. That's another level. That's another level. That's two more levels. God damn. We're rocking it now. And now we need to walk to Fire Link because we need to go do New Londo. And we need to do the Four Kings. And we need to do Nido. So then you just do the Four Kings and Nido. And then we're, then we're done. Four kings, Nido, and we're done. Um, ooh, there's an item over there. Let's go grab that. That's an item over there. Why is there an item there? I thought I grabbed the item that was supposed to be there. Have a heavy attack! 544 damage when I'm pretty sure those guys have like, what, 80 HP total? Let's see what it does to you, big boy. This guy's a merchant as well. This guy's a merchant as well. Hello. Oh, that's the Ring of Sacrifice. Sounds like we never got. I, I really I'm love this guy. His voice is so I good. Trinkets and oddities, so I trade for them. Sweet. Patches. What do you got? Gold pine resin. Bottom. Uh, I've already got the master key. Crystal, crystal, crystal. Mm-hmm. I can buy his armor and match it. Ooh. Ooh. We could wear smart. We could go smart. We could go smell armor. We could we could go smo's armor. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. Well, that look is his armor. But no like look at his helmet no, specifically. Come back again. Feel like there's spectacles on it. Not every trade was meant to be. There'll be more in store for us. There spectacles Someday. on his helmet. Sometime. I love it. He is, so much like how the giant in Anor Londo is the boss weapon guy, he's like the boss armor guy. Like he gives you like all the armors from the bosses that you've killed. So I'm gonna go. Well, you guys still hit hard. Congrats. You've got something going for you in your lives. You can actually do damage to me. You just- Oh! That was a- 
There you go. Holy crap, that was a... That was an I should not be alive moment. How the hell did it do like a perfect frame roll on that spot? That's ridiculous. I always was like disappointed they never put like an item up on the top of here though. Like that could have been a fun little like challenge. Let's get our 20 Estus back and also we're gonna make sure that I rested the bonfires so that I actually got them. Now what I'm gonna do, right, is I'm gonna... Before we go down to the Tomb of the Giants, we need to go say Andre because we need to get that club doing a bit better. We need to get that Divine Club doing a bit better because, like, as it stands, it's pretty, like... It's a joke, honestly. Like, it's actually a joke. How little damage that club's doing. I am Sackboy. Leader of the Sack. Leader of the Sack, people! We fight for Sack and Honor and Sack Justice. Did I ever kill the Taurus demon? Did I kill the Taurus demon? I forget if I killed the Taurus demon. I killed the Capra demon because we're into the depths. Otherwise I wouldn't have the Dragon Great Club. Or Great Axe. I can't remember if I went the Taurus demon route or if I went around. Because you can actually skip the Taurus demon. Like entirely. I should go double check that I did actually kill him. Uh, I need more green titan though. Now because I've got like no souls, no humanity or anything. Oh, that's right, I don't need the charred ring anymore. Which means we can go back to... Curse resistance. Hmm. Attack when HP is low. That might be alright. Additional attunement, attunement, miracle, miracle. Extend bow range, improve balance. <coughs> so either way, I'm gonna have to take something off for that. Ah, uh, screw it. Let's go ring a favor because I don't think I'm ever gonna take it off. But. I was going to say, since i got like no souls and no humanity, let's give one of these guys a try. Okay, or you could just not read my inputs and then do them delay. And the batteries on my controller are dying. And the battery on my controller might be dead. I should have rested. At a different bonfire. I should have rested at a different bonfire. What if this is fast enough? That's faster. Than walking. Let's see what the load times are like. like. Four seconds is pretty good actually. Man, like NV like NVMe um storage is like so insane compared to like traditional hard drives and even SSD at this point. Did that just do him in two? Whoo, baby! That just did him in two. I'm crazy impressed at that. I'm crazy impressed at that. Damn. That was effective as all hell. Um, Sans Fortress, I think. There's a couple of more things I can get in Sans Fortress, but I'm not going to worry about them for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Firelink, I'm going to go see the first trader. Because for memory, he sells me something... Ah, I can't remember. Oh, uh, he sells me something. Let's just leave it at that. He sells me something that I think I'm going to need, so I want to go get the Red Dragon's Tail. I want to go get the red dragon tail. 
because I want to make sure that I've got all of, like, the dragon weapons, you know? So now we've got the dragon tooth, the dragon great axe, the dragon sword. And I don't remember what the red dragon gives me. I don't actually know if I've ever even gotten the red dragon's tail. Because I think from memory, the red dragon is, like, the one enemy, like, I usually just avoid in this game. Because I've never been able to find a solid way to kill him. Holy bejesus! The damage! It's incomprehensible! It doesn't even say. It does full damage on the initial swing to the point that the follow-up doesn't even register as anything. Wow. <laughs> now, it's not you that I need to see. Because you're not the first trader. First trader... Because before we do Nido and the Four Kings, let's get something to kill the Hydra so we can do Artorius. Because I want to do the Artorius of the Abyss. Ooh, we should get Artorius' Greatsword and fight Artorius with Artorius' Greatsword. I'll do the grinding for that. I'll do the grinding for that off camera. So, like, hopefully next episode I should have Artorius' Greatsword. And we should be ready to go do Artorius in the next episode. Unless you guys want to see the Hydra fight. Otherwise, I'll just do the Hydra, like, off camera. It's too much, even for a shield. It's too much, even for a shield. The Dragon Greatsword is too much for you. Check this out. He thinks he's gonna get the drop on me. Hiya! Got the drop on you first. This is the first trader. Hello. I know everything's for sale because you're awesome. Dried fingers should only be used with the greatest of caution. I don't remember what they do. I don't remember what those do. That's scary. Reinforced club. This is going to become Smo's hammer. I want the short bow. Um, I'll figure out how to get the great sword in the next, like when I'm doing it by myself. Uh, standard arrow. I want as many as you can give me. Thank, Thank you. you kind. Thank you kindly. <laughs> Put that in the offhand. Put that in this hand. And let's go try and get the dragon's tail. Just rest at this bonfire, just in case. Never be too careful. Never be too careful. That is the rule of Dark Souls. Never be too careful. Now, if I come around, just gotta watch my footing here. I should hopefully be able. Hey, come back. Tail back around here. Like it's slow, so I'll speed this footage up. But this is like the easiest way to get the red dragon's tail. I'm just doing this. It's just, like I said, this is actually the slowest thing in the whole game to do. Missed, got his wing. And the best part is, this does like such little damage as well, I don't think you're gonna have a chance in hell of killing him this way, so you can just take your time and get his tail. Now, I'm pretty sure you could use probably uh, throwing daggers as well, that might work. No, stop getting his wing. Stop getting his wing. I only got 316 arrows. And I'm 
pretty sure once you get his tail off, I think he just like flies away as well. Stop. On something. Making this very hard. You're making this way harder than it needs to be, Red Dragon. This takes a very long time to do, but I'm just doing this to show you that you can. I need to wait for him to go that way. There you go. Yeah, you can basically just sit here for as long as you need to until his tail comes off. It's not the most interesting thing in the world to do, but it gives you a pretty okay weapon, I think. I don't know. Can't remember if I've ever gotten it before. Yeah, wood arrows, nice and cheap. Short bow, nice and cheap. The main investment is time. The main investment is time and also having to deal with the crappy aiming in this game. There we go! There we go, got the, got the Drake Sword. Let's see what you're like. 200! Not too shabby. Let's see if you have an alt. Let's see if you have an alt. I'm guessing probably not. Oh, you've got like a little version of the great sword. It's got like a little version of the great sword. It's so good. Oh, that's not bad damage at all, actually. That's not too bad at all, actually. Let's see how much damage that did to it. What's your total health? 240, so you must have the same amount of health as the greatsword and shit, then. Now, I'm pretty sure, right? Um, where is it? Here it is. Pretty sure, right? Now, if I go up here... Oh, he's still there. I thought he disappeared. You know what we can do, though? We can do this. Oh, no. The aiming's so too bad for that. We can just keep doing this. Just keep running back and forth. Because either way, he's going to keep flying, like, up and down. You can just keep doing that over and over and over again until he's dead. Like, the fire literally clips through the floor, but it, like, it can't kill you. Like, it, it can't kill you. It's quite funny, actually. Oh, why is it so slow? I'm just going to keep doing this for a while. Wow, 10 whole damage. Ten whole damage. Why aren't you flying back over there? Which health total does this dragon have? I'm gonna look up how much total health this dragon has to know his approximation of how many arrows we need.
just trying to, like, stop him for a sec. Oh my god, no. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. I wonder... I wonder if this would have enough range on its AoE to hit him down here. Let's find out. First better drink. Wow, really? How is that hitting me? Stop! Stop dragon! Did that do anything? I don't think it did. Jeez, he is really pissed though. What did I do? What did I do? I've never seen the dragon get this aggroed before. I've never seen the dragon this aggroed before. Walk back over. I want to try something. I want to try something. Walk back here. Where'd you go? Ah, back up there again. Can't even see where its health bar is. What's its health sitting at? I think this dragon might actually be the scariest enemy in the whole game. Just because I don't know actually any strategy to fight him. So I'm just gonna keep doing this. I really don't know a strategy for fighting the big dragon. Is there a strategy or is it literally just luck? I'm able to use... Sorry, I'm really derailed right now because I'm actually, like, super invested in this. So I've got no idea how to do it. No, I can't build that. Dang it. What do I need to... What do I need? What do I need in order to wield you? What do I need? 20 strength, 20 dex. Okay, so I need dex. I'm low on dex. That's why I can't. Is it the cross... Oh, I don't have any bolts. I wouldn't be able to use a crossbow anyway, I don't know bolts. Isolith Catalyst, yeah, that's spell stuff. Okay. I don't know what an actual viable strategy for the dragon is. How are you supposed to fight him? Like, uh, is there a way to actually, like, fight this dragon for real, or... Like, without just getting your ass handed to you? I don't know. Anyway, that brings us to the end of another episode anyway, so I'll um, see you guys in the next episode. Have fun. Bye.